Hello and welcome to today's video. Today uh, is one of my wrap up videos for 2022 and it is my ink of the year video. Now my ink of the year is not an ink that was necessarily produced this year or in the year that I filmed these. Uh, it is an ink that I discovered in the previous or in this calendar year that I enjoy uh, that stood out for me for whatever reason. So last year it was Dye Mine Michael. My name is Michael. So it was a lovely dark blue ink and therefore it suited that perfectly. This year, uh, once again, it's an ink that uh, I have a sort of a sentimental attachment to as well as a, a very practical attachment. But I wanted to show a few inks firstly uh, that were kind of close you know, in, in the mix for whatever reason. One, this is a really solid ink that's just great for everyday use. Colorverse Office Blue Black. This is a really solid ink. I reviewed this earlier in the year. Uh, it actually performed so, so well. Got one of my highest ratings out of my uh, score out of five for ink. It performs beautifully. It's my color range. It's not the bluest blue black, but it is just absolutely beautiful. The next uh, is Octopus Fluids uh, Moss Green. Now, I'd reviewed or looked at a couple of uh, Octopus Fluids inks before I got these, uh, particularly the ones I make for Diplomat. Uh, but when I saw this ink, it just struck me. It's just such a beautiful green. Once again, performs really well. A little on the drier side, which means that uh, we can actually use it, um, you know, sort of quite as an everyday writer, just performs really well, looks great, and uh, is an ink I really enjoyed. The last one is a little bit different. It is Van Diemen's ink, Tasmania Snowy Mountain Sunset. Now this just because of the sheer beauty of that, that color range from that sort of tealy, aqua, light blue, gray kind of range, right through to darker teals, and even like this sheen or sh of, of pink with this beautiful light gold, very, very fine shimmer. It looks beautiful. So these are the Mon Coloring cards. I'll also overlay a photo of a couple of little bits of writing on Tomo River. Uh, but these were three runner-ups, three beautiful inks that I also looked at in 2022. But we are here today to see my ink of the year, and that this year is a Robert Oster ink, this ink. This is from the Australian Cities series. This is Hobart. Now, I was born in Hobart. This is my hometown. I now live in Melbourne, but I was born in Hobart and I spent most of my formative years there. Um, and so this ink, uh, you know, kind of meant a lot to me. Um, I'm an, obviously I'm Australian, Robert Oster is an Australian. I've worked with a lot of his inks over the years and reviewed a number of them. Um, the brown of this ink is interesting. Robert suggests that uh, in his little spiel about the ink that it you know, should reflect the color of the stone in you know, Tasmanian buildings and uh, in you know, the fences and even the sand on the western shores of Tasmania. And uh, I can kind of see that. What it really screams to me is actually like, so Tasmania is in the south of, Hobart is in the south of the island of Tasmania. In the north of the state, around like the Burnie Devonport area, uh, the soil is this really rich red brown, and I kind of see a lot of that in this. Uh, but just, you know, a beautiful ink, a color that I really enjoy. I do like brown inks. This is a nice one from a brand I like. So let's talk about it uh, and see it on some other paper. All right, so I have it here on this little Robert Oster pad of Cosmo Air light paper, uh, and it performs really nicely. I was writing with this pen, the Visconti uh, Van Gogh. This is the Starry Night version, a pen I recently got. If you follow me on Instagram, um, I said a little thing that like, when I first got into fountain pens, uh, this, this pen was one of those pens that uh, was one of the first ones that struck me. And for whatever reason, um, I never ended up getting one. Uh, until, you know, just re really recently, and I'm really glad I did. It's a, Visconti's tend to write quite, quite wet, and this is a medium, but it's quite a broad medium. It's very lovely, it's smooth, it's generous, and this looks great in it. You can see here on the swab, you get lots of that lighter shading brown, that chocolatey, rich red brown through to the darker browns, even hits of sort of dark brown greys coming through, which is beautiful. So, the five points I wanna quickly cover on this, why this is my ink of the year. Firstly, the color, as I said, it's rich, it's sits in a color family I enjoy. I like writing with brown inks. I think when you look back at old manuscripts, a lot of those inks are sort of that sepia brown quality to them. And that's a lot of things that have like the, you know, the uh, the kind of colors I had access to, but also the oxidi oxidization of inks and all those kinds of things on older documents. And I, I kind of like the feel of that. 
Second, I said, it's my hometown. Uh, so Hobart is a beautiful city. Uh, it's always sort of up there in the places to visit worldwide sort of lists. It's got great heritage buildings, well, heritage by Tasmanian standards. It's, you know, it's only a relatively new uh, city in the scheme of things, a couple of hundred years old, uh, but beautiful architecture, beautiful buildings, beautiful waterfront, uh, great food, great coffee, all of that kind of stuff. Um, so uh, if you ever get a chance to visit Hobart, do, but my hometown, so I've got a sentimental attachment to it. And uh, as this ink is named after that, I have a sentimental attachment to that too. The third point I put here is that it's Australian made. Uh, that for me is a big plus. I want to support as many Australian brands and makers as I can, and particularly going ahead, I really want to cover more and more Australian products. Uh, the fourth thing is the performance. Now, you know, Robert Oster inks are safe. They perform well. They're, they don't necessarily always have high water resistance or all that kind of thing, but they perform well. I made a little video about the set, which I'll link to below. You can see they perform well. And the last thing is the set. It's while it's a set of Australian cities, so there's Brisbane, Sydney, Melbourne, Perth, like a bunch of them. And uh, they're beautiful colors. They're, they're quite varied, they're rich, they're, you know, and there's a couple of American, there's an American cities set as well, but uh, the Australian one, of course, being an Australian, jumps out to me. So what I thought I would do is I would do a quick little writing sample with the ink here, uh, and then show a quick couple of uh, comparisons, just to put it into context, so. So firstly, also you can see that pen writes beautifully, but you see how how rich this uh, ink actually is. It's got a, such a depth uh, of this beautiful color to it, and it's a nice, got a nice flow, and it, it just performs really, really well. So it's a nice, rich, dark brown. Let's see it in comparison to a couple of other colors. So we'll bring that color ring card back here. I wanted to show it against what is my sort of standard brown, and that is Diamine Macassar. So you can see it's a lot more red brown. That's sort of like what I consider to be almost like a coffee brown. Uh, but this is sort of more like a chocolate brown. It's got just that little hint of red through it that almost a maroon that makes it very appealing. Uh, and then two Robert Oster inks I uh, wanted to quickly show it alongside. The first is Golden Brown, uh, which is a nice warm brown from Robert, but a lot lighter. And then Dark Chocolate, which you can see has a lot more of that sort of purple tone uh, to it. So you can see this sits in a red brown part of the family as opposed to like that, uh, you know, leathery brown or that woody brown versus sort of the more purpley brown, which is very purple in comparison and uh, a very nice colour. So this was my ink of the year for 2022, Robert Oster's Hobart from the Australian Cities series. I hope you found this video interesting and useful. Thank you for watching. Thank you for uh, supporting uh, the channel and, you know, um, you know, sort of all your, your input and all of those kinds of things. I really appreciate it. I enjoy, you know, like your comments. I enjoy, you know, talking with you all and, you know, sort of, uh, you know, seeing what you think about all these things as well. Uh, I hope you've all had a lovely year. A couple more videos left for the year uh, and then uh, into 2023. Can you believe it's almost 2023? Gosh, this year has flown. So thank you for watching. Ink of the Year, Robert Oster Hobart. Uh, I'll see you soon.